Hello streamers, I'm Sam Proof, and if you've wanted to explore expanding your growth through multicasting your stream, I'm going to show you how using Mob Crush, and I'll show you some of their other cool tools and features as well. Alright, to create a new account, we'll go to mobcrush.com and hit this Get Started button. From the pop-up, we're going to choose Twitch, and then you'll be asked to create a username. Once you fill that out, a green check mark appears, you can hit Continue. You're taken to a welcome screen, hit start. And if you want to link other platforms to multicast, you can do that here, adding Facebook or YouTube. And you can always come back to this through the go live page. I'm going to add YouTube now. So the pop-up comes up and we'll pick our account based on our profile, so our email address. And then our channel. Once we do that, we hit continue and YouTube has now been linked. We can do the same thing with Facebook. We'll auth in and be prompted to pick our Facebook page. Hit continue. And now we're gonna set up our streaming software. This works for OBS, Streamlabs OBS, Stream Elements, XSplit, or any other encoder. From OBS, we'll hit the settings button and go to stream. From the service dropdown, first we'll hit show all and then we'll select Mob Crush. Back over on the Mob Crush website, copy the stream key, return to OBS, and paste that into the stream key field. Hit apply and then OK. You can return to Mob Crush and hit continue. Next, we're going to set up Action Replays. Action Replays is our machine learning AI that watches your game and creates the best highlight clips while you're playing live. Supported games include Fortnite, League of Legends, Rocket League, PUBG, PUBG Mobile, Overwatch, Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone, and Apex Legends. Alright, to set up this layer, we're going to copy this URL from the Mob Crush website and return to our encoder, OBS. In the Sources column, hit the plus and select Browser. We're going to call this Action Replays and hit OK. Now we'll paste the URL that we had just copied in the URL field, and we're going to set the width and height to 1280 by 720 even if we stream at a different resolution. As you see here, my bounding box is actually smaller than my full screen. Select the layer, right click on that, select transform, and then fit to screen. This will assure that everything is placed and scaled correctly. Alright, hit continue, and we're going to set up for our first live stream. Once we've selected the streaming destinations, we can go on and enter our live stream details. We'll start with our game or category. You'll note on the right which platforms support this game title. Next, enter our stream title. We're going to enter something awesome. And then a stream description for supported platforms. This is YouTube and Facebook currently. If you'd like to save these details to be your default on future streams, make sure to enable the option Save Live Stream Details to autofill on future visits. Hit Save and Go Live, and once you see the green success message at the top of the screen, you're ready to return to your software and start streaming. And now I'm ready to go live, I can return to OBS and hit Start Streaming, and I'll be streaming through Mob Crush to all of my platforms. Next time, I'm going to show you some of the cool features Mob Crush has to offer once you are live. And if you want to see that video and more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification. Mm-hmm.